right, so the regatta starts in about 10 minutes and now all these boats are gathering with all their sails here at the start line and if there's a bang then the race goes off towards Flensburg and we also put all our sails up now and the first regatta it's gonna be crazy. All right, so just was the start of the regatta. Look at all these crazy wood boats here. And now they all come at us because we need to go in this direction. Oh, wow, that's crazy. There's very very little wind today, about 8 knots maximum I would say. And so we are like only floating along with 2 to 3, 4 knots maybe sometimes. And yeah we're pretty much at the end of the regatta, but it's fine, we're just doing it for fun. And it's beautiful to see all these boats next to us here and in front. You can see some boats are already around the corner over there because we have to go around the corner to Flensburg. Wow, Can you release what a sight. Now it starts to look a little bit crazy because we have to go up this fjord towards Flensburg and the wind is coming from that direction. So everyone needs to go zigzagging, tacking up this fjord. And now you see many sailboats going this way and many girls going this way. And now you have to take care that you're not crashing into anyone else. So we made it to Flensburg, but we didn't really make the regatta because it was low wind and from the wrong direction and with such a big boat it's too heavy to perform well enough. So we had to motor like the last one, one fourth I would say. And yeah, now we are here before it's getting dark and I think we will have a party tonight and we will stay probably a couple of days here. There's like a boat festival going on, a lot of wood boats gathering like in the last place. And yeah, repair some stuff, just the usual. And after that we will continue our way to Kiel. Now look at that, we are docked as the seventh boat next to six other boats and now to get to land I have to walk over six boats, that's pretty crazy. Sometimes we find marinas with washing machines and dryers and that's really nice but sometimes we just wash by hand in a bucket and that's also very nice if you have a sunny day at least because yeah, otherwise nothing gets dry.
we just have a special guest on the boat. It's a baby swan. I think I've never saw a baby swan before. So cute. Hello? Yeah, you know. So while we're here in Flensburg, we try to repair our steering because sometimes we have no steerage whatsoever and this is the steering pump that's inside of the steering wheel which is pumping the hydraulic fluid All right. and we took it apart to see if we can fix it it would be good because otherwise the steering might be gone for, for real when we're in the ocean which would be really bad so we will see what we can do here <laughs> Right now we're trying to figure out the problem that we have with our two anchors. We have two anchors and one of them, if we pull it all the way up, it's like sitting on the outside here on the bow. And when we're going through big waves, it's kind of getting pushed and it knocks on our hull. And it makes a horrible sound and it's definitely not healthy for the boat. And yeah, we're trying to get both anchors all the way in and really tight so that they don't move and don't yeah, damage the hole over time. So basically one of our two anchors is lower than the other one and normally we can control it through this kind of device to only push up one and push up this one or this one or both at the same time but something is broken now we built like this construction with a halyard up here try down one there. Thing? Lower. Is, it coming, is it coming up? Yeah, yeah it's coming up but uh, lower it again, please. So basically try to manually get up the one anchor so both anchors are level and then later on we can maybe repair this thing that's broken here which is really complicated to explain. So okay, yeah. bring it up. Nice. Okay, okay, that's good. No. Good. So we are still in Flensburg working on a bunch of projects here like little things and yeah the steering has a slight problem we need to look at that because there's a lot of hydraulic oil leaking and that could mean that the steering would go out at some point in the middle of us sailing so that would be really bad so we kind of have to fix that but we want to go sailing south to the Mediterranean as soon as possible and our first step to do that is going through the Kiel Channel and then over England, France, Spain, Portugal down to the Mediterranean because there's an NGO that wants to work with us and that's also kind of one of our goals that we want to accomplish with this project and boat that we want to have like a sailing club where people can come and learn to sail and to live together and to inspire each other but we also want to take part in projects, especially social or environmental projects. And they want to start that project in about one month in the Mediterranean. And it's a long way to the Mediterranean. And we have still some upgrades to do on the boat. So it's gonna be really, really a challenge to get there in time. And also our crew got less. Some people left here in Flensburg. And right now we are down to Dave, the captain, me, Jules and Rodrigo and Jules' girlfriend might join us again in two weeks but that's not really set so we will see we kind of need some new crew because if we want to sail like five days in a row always overnight you kind of need a crew of at least, at least six people, seven people, eight people so yeah we will see how all of that goes and it's gonna be a crazy adventure so yeah <laughs> as always crazy stuff here We started to make our way towards Kiel from Flensburg and now suddenly we have a huge problem with our steering, it's leaking hydraulic oil, we refilled it, it's leaking, we're running out of hydraulic oil, we could be soon losing our steering which is horrible. So now we have to see if we turn into another port or what we do, we will see. So right there is the steering pump and this is the holding tank of the hydraulic oil. And for some reason there's too much oil getting pushed into that, that tank and it's overflowing, draining the system. 
you can see it drop sometimes and this whole towel is kind of sucked full of oil already oh, it's horrible Changed the setting in the steering, now it's leaking less, but we will probably make it to Kiel. It's now we're close to Kiel, but in Kiel we definitely have to fix something on the steering because going through the channel, the Kiel channel, with such a bad steering, it's not possible. And here there are many container ships we have to watch out for because they are so dangerous and fast. Coming behind us and then over there, crazy. a pretty nice spot here on the dock with a lot of traditional boats over there and we kind of blend into that and yeah so far no one says anything so I guess we'll stay here for one night at least and hopefully fix our steering that would be really really nice so we are anchored here in Kiel almost in front of these locks and the channel we need to go through and we kind of got stranded here because we had to repair our steering and then some other things keep kept breaking and then new things were breaking while we were fixing the steering and it was it was a mess and <laughs> I didn't have any time for any filming. We were like basically working the whole time. And now today it seems like we got everything fixed and now we will try today to go through the locks and we're just preparing everything for that now. And that's really nice because we got stranded here for two weeks, which is you know we are trying to get to the Mediterranean fast because we want to do this project there with the NGO so yeah we should really get going and also one of the most interesting things about this project is that we are doing it with almost no money running such a ship is extremely expensive especially if things break and you have to repair them or you have to restore it which is the case here and the skipper Dave he bought the ship and he put all his money everything he has into this ship and he puts all his heart into it and he's teaching us basically everyone on the ship is broke and I also cannot contribute that much to the project so we are trying to make this project work with very very little amount of money and then while we were here on anchor suddenly our generator broke it's pretty much fucked now and then suddenly also our batteries died so we needed to get a new generator and some new batteries and that seemed almost impossible and we didn't know how to do it and then suddenly an angel appeared. Michael Holden, a guy that watches my videos, discovered this project through my videos and he really wants to come join us sailing and he's gonna probably do that soon. And for that he already contributed now some money and with that money we were able to buy a new generator which is up there on the roof and buy two new batteries. And now we're out of money again, <laughs> but at least that's fixed now. And it's it's unbelievable sometimes in life. We were basically stranded with no money. And then suddenly this angel appears and saves us, which is it's crazy how life turns out sometimes. But now we're basically back to zero money and we have to kind of make it through. We have to pay a little bit for the channel that we can manage. And then after that, you know, if you go to a harbor with such a big ship, you pay at least 30 to 50 euros for one day of mooring which is ex insanely expensive you know all of this is really interesting and a crazy project to do it with so little funds but everyone is trying their best and working hard on the boat and we're looking for yeah more crew members who want to join learn and enjoy working <laughs> 